What's up, YT? O'Neill O'Neill Adventures here again. Um, thought I'd walk you through getting ready to change the oil in this Kawasaki Mule Pro FXT. My first time doing it. It's 200 mile, 200 hours is what I have on this. So, thought I'd bring you guys along as I did this. Maybe give you a couple pointers, shortcuts, learn from my mistakes. So, I figured, let me show you this. You know, if you look in your owner's manual, um, it's going to tell you uh, what you need to do right after 20 hours, after 50 hours, or 200 miles. Um, right? So, your periodic service in terms of the frequency, you guys know that. So, I looked on here and I said, okay, well, it tells me. You know, take it to the dealer for the idle speed inspection, spark plugs, air cleaner, clean and inspect. All right, what you're doing there is just blowing out the the uh, the the uh, the front. You know where the where the radiator is. You're basically just making sure there's no dust or whatever. Take an air compressor and blow it away from the fan. Is all you have to do. With that one, valve clearance inspect. Okay, you're supposed to take it to the dealer. Engine oil change. Um, you can do yourself. Oil filter you can do yourself. Front final gear case you can do yourself. Radiator clean. That's actually what I was referring to. Radiator clean. That's that's nothing more than just making sure there's no dust or debris on the radiator. All right. And then you're supposed to do a parking brake inspect. Take that to the dealer to do that. That's it. All right. So after 200 miles, you know, what could really be wrong? So I'm going to do all these oil changes and all these non-dealer things myself. But I'm also going to do the spark plug check. All right. So that's what I'm going to walk. What I'm going to walk you guys through. I'm doing most of the stuff myself. Um, save a little money. So, with that said, what I did do was go to the uh, go to a Kawasaki dealer and I bought the oil, I bought the filter, and I bought the because I'm going to be changing the um, rear differential, re rear differential, and the front gear box oil. Uh, I wanted to make sure I got the genuine stuff. All right, I don't want to play around with this stuff. So, it costs too much money to be skimping on on some oil. So um, make sure that you get 80W90, so 80 weight, 90 gear oil. And it's supposed to be this hypoil, hypoid, <clears throat> some, some mixture, right? That's specific for these Kawasaki engines, so um, machines. So make sure you, whatever you get, make sure you have that. So be safe, just go to the dealer, you know? They're gonna charge you a little more money, but better safe than sorry. All right, and then I got a, genuine um, filter that I'm gonna replace okay so coming back over here um, you lift this seat up of course there's the engine all right put the seat back down right then under here there's four screws looks like you got to take that out to get to the oil filter all right so no big deal so far then if you go under this thing Right underneath the, the uh, center, right underneath where the engine is, you'll see a, let me see if I can get you a shot. See where my oil pan is? Right there. And then right underneath the oil pan, not that. Right underneath the oil pan. Actually, it's right here. Okay. There is a 14 millimeter. 14 millimeter. 14 millimeter uh, socket. Just gonna take that oil pl oil plug out, let it drain. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and drain that thing out. Go ahead and get the oil filter pulled, and I'll be back. All right, what's up, YouTube? Um, so yes, I told you I was changing the filter. I want you to get a good picture of what I'm doing, because changing this filter is a monster. Getting it out. Kawasaki, poor design. 
all right? You may have a machine to put the filter in, but you don't think about the person that has to get it out. So just take a good pic, just take a good shot of how I'm positioned in the back seat of this thing. This was the best way to get this filter out. You see where I'm at? Back up so they can so they can see where I'm how I'm positioned. I'm actually my feet, my legs are <laughs> over the back of the side by side. I got two wrenches, filter wrenches, so you're gonna need one of these. This one this straight up and this flat oil uh, filter wrench worked the best. But I've been trying to get this thing off for 10 minutes. Okay. So the best way I found to do it was to come upside down here. Try to get the filter wrench on the filter. Can you get a shot? I don't know. And as you, as you can see here. Wait a minute. I have to go around. As you can see, that the, how I wore this out trying to get this thing on, it was so tight. Maybe yours won't be as tight, but mine was super tight. And they don't make it very convenient to get this filter wrench on here very good because you got this. All they give you is this little cover, but you can't get a good grip on the filter. And for mine, it was very hard to turn with my hand, so it didn't work. So I had to mess around with this and try to get a good grip, and I finally was able to break it. So now I'm just going to twist it off, okay? So the work from here, pretty easy. That filter business was probably the hardest part of this whole thing. Still worth it. You don't want to pay a dealer to have to change your oil. But I wanted to give you that little tip. Set your expectations that getting that oil filter off for your side-by-side -side may be pretty difficult. All right? Stay tuned. I'm going to pull that, put the new one in and start putting new oil in, all right? Stay tuned. All right, what's up, YouTube? <clears throat> I'm back. Uh, continuing this video the next day on changing or doing the 200-mile <clears throat> maintenance on the Kawasaki Mule uh, FXT. So I talked about before, the most challenging part of this job is the oil filter. Still, again, it's worth not paying the dealer to do it. Uh, but just know yours may be a little tight. You're going to have to, you know, get in there and get it, get it figured out. But not impossible. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. All right. Now, the last thing I need to do is change the gear oil. All right. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, and then you're all set, you know. All set to do this job yourself. So, piece of cake. All right. So, first thing you want to do is get this stuff here all right i just again i got this from the kawasaki dealer <clears throat> uh, in my area uh it's just uh 80 weight 90 gear oil as you can see there but the manual calls for hypoid gear oil don't ask me why but that's what i'm going to use okay piece of cake you get that you're going to be set but let me show you the tools you're going to need because this is important, okay? And of course, uh, where did my little Allen wrench go? One second. But, 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 but. I think I put it back up, but I want to show you. By the way, since I'm here, this is my dad's toolbox, my late father's toolbox. And every time I needed a tool that was odd, that I didn't have in my toolbox, I would come to this thing. This thing is probably... 60 years old. Come in this thing and my dad would have a, a wrench in here or something that I needed. So, let me pull this out. So I'm going to show you guys what you're going to need. And I think I just put them back in here. Uh, where is that? Oh, where did I? Oh, here it is. Sorry. Alright. Okay. Here we go. All right, so the front gearbox, right there, see that? This is your fill cap, right? And you need an Allen wrench, all right? And this is probably a quarter. I think it's maybe a quarter inch, not 100% sure. But I found one in my toolbox that fits perfectly. All right, put that puppy in there. 
turn it counterclockwise. I had to use a hammer to kind of break it because it was kind of tight. But break that thing, you're good. That's your fill, that's your fill hole. And then under here is your drain. Okay, so you're gonna pull that first. Both use this Allen wrench. All right, so that's your gearbox, your front gearbox. Then back here is your transmission. Okay, let me close my, close this thing. Close that, make it a little easier to see. Okay, now back here, this is gonna take the most oil. Look in the manual, it'll tell you exactly how many quarts, um, <clears throat> right, you're gonna need in this, but you're gonna, pop, you're gonna crack this at your fill hole and it's 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 bigger than this allen wrench they didn't make it the same size um i don't actually don't even have one so i got to find one that's big enough to fit in that right to open that and then under here is your drain plug which is right there okay and guess what that's going to use? You would think it would use something like this, right? That's what you would think. That's exactly what you would think. Because that's what I would think. Walked out here thinking, Allen wrench, Allen wrench. Boom. Everything's the same. But it's not. Go figure. <clears throat> so that's going to be a 14 millimeter. Alright. So, got your two Allen wrenches on the front. Or your two plugs on the front for the front gearbox. Your larger Allen wrench and a 14 millimeter on the on the back uh, transmission box. Drain that oil out. Put uh, your new your new oil. The manual is going to tell you to crank the crank your machine up first. Let the oil thin out. That way you make sure you get it all drained out. Okay. So last thing I would say is. I purchased three of these, right? Um, and the dealer said, I'll probably have a little bit left over. So just get three, save yourself a trip. Get three of those. You're probably gonna need two in the back and maybe, I don't know, I haven't done mine yet. So it'll probably be maybe three quarters of the, the, the last quart, okay? One other thing I have, which I'll probably use, is this little funnel here. I already had something like that in my in my repertoire so probably use that and the last thing I'm gonna do is take an air compressor and blow out my I'm gonna blow this out it tells you to check this radiator fan you know whatever it is radiator blow out any garbage mine looks really clean so but I'll go through the motions, make sure everything is copacetic. All right, that's it, guys. Um, I've given you the little tips, little tricks. It's pretty much all I can think of. And my 200 mile Kawasaki Mule FXT job, maintenance job, will be complete. Alright. Boys, <clears throat> this thing needs a bath. It needs a bath. But so far, pretty happy with what I got. So if you have any questions, any comments, leave them in the comment section. Any questions and I will respond. Right? Uh, hopefully my experience will help you do this job yourself. Take care of your investment. All right? Take care.